so I'm talking to this business person, and the person is incredibly successful. And they're talking about the gratitude they have for Jesus because everything they have, they believe God's given them. They tithe, they give missions offering. They're... And then I said, you know that God wants to do more in your life. And they kind of looked at me and said, are you kidding me? I said, no. I said, God wants to do more than you can ask or imagine according to his power that works within you. Ephesians 3.20. I said, when was the last time you treated God like God and you asked for the big stuff? Or when was the last time you treated God like God and you believed his word and he was going to do far beyond what you could imagine or think? And the business person says, give me an illustration. And I said, I don't know the spiritual condition of Taylor Swift or Drake, but I'm asking God to make himself so close to them through Jesus Christ that they will have an international testimony publicly. I said, I don't want to judge them, but I said, I'm not only asking God to touch Taylor Swift and touch Drake, but I'm imagining them in Church on the Queensway giving a testimony of how God touched them and how Jesus is real in their life. I said, we need to treat God like God. We need to go beyond what we think and start to think the way God wants us to think. Now in, 19, in 2024, not 19, but 2024, we need to take God's word and hear it like the parable of sower. We need to retain it, we need to persevere we need to produce. If the Bible says it, let's do it so that he can do what he wants in us. Hey, can you imagine Drake and Taylor Swift, powerful Christians full of the Holy Spirit? That would shake it up. Hey, have a great day. 